Hello. Welcome to the second season of the Inside the Industry podcast. This is a video podcast that focuses on the talent at Cal Poly Pomona. Cal Poly has an instrumental in implementing the major music industry studies. Many music majors get the chance to explore and exercise their interests through this major. This goes beyond what you may see on the surface and taps into the behind the scenes world of performance and how these projects are put together. This series will focus on three different performances from individual artists and groups. Each set will consist of a performance from each artist slash group and will be followed by an interview from me, your host, Frankie. Audience members can follow the behind the scenes from this series on our Instagram and YouTube page. Today's episode will feature our guest, Allie, and we'll have a chance to hear and speak with her. So Allie is a music student. She plays guitar, ukulele, drums, very uh, multifaceted individual. And she's going to play a couple songs for us today. So you ready to play for us today? Yes. (laughs) Nice. Let's do it. I don't know what to do All I 
know is that I want you Do you want me to? This cannot be just another thing I can't take just one more summer fling I know It may seem strange I mean I know where I am going But I hope we end up going the same way But if we don't just know I've got a space for you Right next to me, oh it's a perfect view All I wanna see is if you love me too Oh, if you love me too I've got a space for you I can keep it warm if you wish me to Just keep thinking about how much I'll miss you Oh, I won't miss you I keep driving by, giving signs Hoping that you notice me won't you open up your heart, oh please Cause mine is on my sleeve No more waiting, are we dating, going crazy Everything is so unclear, you see But I'll still be waiting patiently Getting tired cause I'm losing sleep This cannot be just another thing one more summer thing I know It may seem strange I may not know where I am going But I hope we end up going the same way But if we don't just know I've got a space for you Right next to me it's a perfect view All I wanna see is if you love me too Oh, if you love me too I got a space for you I can keep it warm if you wish me to Just keep thinking about how much I miss you Oh, how I miss you I have got a space for you do you need me just as much as I need you? Why don't you come meet me down the avenue? I wanna do a shit so I'm compassing through But even if you do There's still a space for you that was an amazing performance can you start you. by telling me a little about yourself like where you're from what brings you to cal poly etc okay so um my name is ali um i i'm a second year here at cal poly pomona um i am mis major and um why i chose cal poly pomona my brother goes here so um i wanted to be close to family um even though all my family's in Northern California. I'm from Vacaville, California. It's between San Francisco and Sacramento. Um, awesome, awesome. Yeah. So you basically, <laughs> you came here because your brother came here too. So mm -hmm. you were kind of like, okay, I yeah. can do that. <laughs> yeah. Awesome, awesome. Did anything like, did the music department on campus kind of pique your interest and in wanting to do music or? If I'm being honest with you, um, because I did not have to audition to be in uh, the MIS program, that's why I wanted to okay. go here right. as well. Also, it's in the area of, like, Los Angeles and, you know, mm -hmm. LA's, like, popping for music and stuff, mm -hmm. so. That's so true, just, actually, yeah. yeah. LA scene is very big on music. Um, and also, I think Cal Poly is one of the only Cal states that offer, like, a music industry studies major or a program. So we got to hear folks. <laughs> so awesome. Um, so how did you find your love for music? Um, who's inspired you um, in the past? Who's inspiring you now, et cetera? 
So I used to play soccer since I was little until like middle school and I tore my ACL and I couldn't continue playing. Oh, no. So I I had also done like music in like elementary school up until middle school as well, but I wasn't as serious about it as I was sports. So um I obviously had to choose between one or the other to continue and because soccer was too demanding on my knee, I had to go into music, but ultimately like I love the decision that I ended up making because I've met so many people and I I didn't I don't get the same rush from music as I did from soccer and that's a good thing because they're two completely different like feelings and mm-hmm. um the people that I've met with music as well they have definitely like inspired me to delve more into like songwriting and stuff because before I would just play percussion that was like my main focus for music and stuff because I did band in high school and middle school but um the people that I've met they this one one person specifically I met in high school his name is Devin Tumalak um we we were we were really good friends in high school and he he put out his own music and plays the guitar and writes and all that stuff. And it just really inspired me to want to do that. And so I started trying to do that, but I didn't really get much into it until the pandemic. And I really wanted to put my all into that. Okay. Yeah, I get the um, being inspired by friends kind of thing. Um, I'm inspired by like other like musicians and whatever, mm-hmm. but it's always the ones that are like closer to you and the local musicians that I find myself gravitating towards and kind of looking up to as well. So I totally get that. And that's awesome. Um, so could you walk me through your songwriting process? Uh, what are your musical aspirations? Man, I don't think I really have a process for songwriting. It's just whatever comes into my head. I just write it down um Mm -hmm. if I have to say that I have a process usually my ideas come to me in the shower yeah and um (laughs) so I'll try to finish my shower as soon as possible and get out and write down all that stuff and my voice memos app on my phone it's completely full like there's so many unfinished like ideas on there and I have like a notebook full of lyrics and stuff that I come back to and mm-hmm. started and it's really just from my experiences too that I talk about in my writing and what I think will speak most to people and myself mm-hmm. so and for my aspirations in music um I I just want to write I don't really <laughs> I don't really care where I end up with this music stuff um but, you know, it'd be really nice to have all this out in the open so people could listen to it and enjoy it. Because it seems like you guys enjoyed it when mm. I played it. And I don't know, just making music that makes people happy. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely think that that's a really important part of songwriting is just doing it um, most importantly for yourself because you love it. You know, not necessarily for the end goal to be like to get people like you know, to grow a platform, Mm -hmm. to grow fans, to grow like a fan base and whatever, Um, you know, music at the heart of it is just like, you know, it's kind of selfishly, but like, you know, you want to do it for yourself, Mm -hmm. make yourself feel good about it because music can quickly leave like being like a hobby, you know, something that you're doing for fun into something that you feel like you have to do. It can happen, like, it can become that really quickly. So that's great that you you have that kind of mindset about that. Thank you. So uh, fill me in. What is the best song you've either written, performed, or both, and why? I don't think I've done any of those yet. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I only started writing music about two years ago. So I like to think that each song I write, gets better as I do them so absolutely um it's really up to what the people listening to the music think yeah. Okay. <laughs> um yeah I I think I'm 
I've, I'd like to think I'm getting better as I go. So yeah, okay, op- absolutely understandable. Um, I only started like really taking songwriting seriously like a few years ago as well. Um, and so yeah, you're just kind of you're getting your your uh you're getting your sea legs I guess mm-hmm. in terms of yeah. songwriting and you've just started and you're already like super amazing <laughs> thank you so that's awesome <laughs> all right what is something special that you'd like the audience to know about you anything special you'd like them, them to know about your music in general um I just hope that whoever listens to my music just feels as happy and like satisfied as I do when I play it and perform it which is not very often but um I just hope it just fills people with some sort of enjoyment and like happiness Mm -hmm. because ultimately that's why I do music Mm -hmm. so and it definitely filled me with happiness because just (laughs) that first performance you did I was just like like my ears were so happy like my my friend Yuritsa is right over there and she's just like we're both hyping you up like (laughs) before and just after because it was just like awesome really solid song all right so as we reach the end of today's segment I like to start thanking you for appearing on our podcast Allie thank you for having me wonderful having you here it really means a lot to all of us. And is there anything else that you'd like to say to our viewers? And how can we find you online? Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my songs. Um, you can find me on Instagram at Ali underscore Aldrich. And I do have TikTok. It's the same handle at Ali underscore Aldrich. Um, but I post stupid videos on there. Only sometimes yes. singing videos. So <laughs> if you'd like to follow me on those. Those are important ahead. as well. We got to love the stupid videos. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, all right. Well, thank you again. And thank you all so much for watching episode one. Everyone, please be sure to check out our Instagram page and follow us. It's at inside underscore the underscore industry. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>